Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, let's summarize. We God not have time. We may take more than two. Come this way. Come and tell us what God has done for you. Glory to God. Come and stand by me. Hallelujah. Come and come and play a bit of a little. by power is not by mind. One minute, please. I've been through this for, this is the sixth time. Jesus is Lord. I went the first time, I finished driving. All of a sudden, I just stopped on the road. I I don't know why I stopped. When I recollected myself, Say the devil is a liar. I was like, what's happening? Then I started again, and that was my, my fault. All other times, I will finish driving like just five minutes for the driving test to be ended. You know, my instructors, they said it's that five to 40 minutes, but they will take me for that whole hour. And just five minutes for us to, just on the way to test center, and I will fail it. One thing or the other will happen, and I will fail it. But this one, I pick up those tests, I decided not to call the cancellation center anymore. I said I don't know whether they are giving me the date that I will fail. I said I will wait for this particular date to come. Mm. Then a few days to that, I just got so confused and so, so many doubts in me. I said, am I going to fail this again? And go and ask these people my money again. That is too much. I said to pastor, please inquire of God, should I go for this test or should I cancel it? Because I am so tired of failing and I don't want to fail again. <laughs> I told him that test. He said, go in this thy mouth. I said, okay, if he said I should go, I will go. So that morning, I was, he said he would call me before then. He didn't call me, I was like, as fast of forgotten this test. It's very important to me. <laughs> so, but a few minutes to that, he called me. And to cut the whole story short, that was the first time I had eight minor faults. All the other time, I would have maybe two minor faults or higher. And she did not get, she did not uh, pass. Hallelujah. <laughs> and in, in, you, know, you know, another thing is that, I go to you know keep clear road the next is um junction so I got there I stop here there is keep there there is another road before you get to the stopping point so I stop here I don't know what to do I go confused there but this woman my instructor just she just started a um, discussion with me and we are discussing maybe she now forgot that I was already <laughs> I've already made a dangerous part again. So she forgot and that was her finally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand there, stand there, stand there, stand there, stand there. I thought you'd be standing to clap for Jesus. I thought you'd be standing to clap for Jesus. Man did not do it, God did it. So if you are clapping, you should clap well. If you are clapping, you should clap well. Father, we just celebrate you for that testimony. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You may be seated. But guess what? She, you may be seated. She had to put a demand on the anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I said to her, I say, go and write it. I said, this time around, no more failure. And the day before she went for her test, I said, that when you are doing your test, call me, tell me that you have started the test. Mm. And then she called me and I said, that's fine. Mako, Leke, Neba, Naka, wherever they are, Holy Ghost, fire. The first five, six times she wrote, she had two, three thoughts. This time she had eight thoughts, and that, that's exactly what I told her. I said, once you finish the test, don't worry what the instructor will tell you. 
He might tell you have 24, but he'll pass you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God so kind. That word came to pass. Someone here, you're writing an exam this month. You're writing an exam this year. No failure in the name of Jesus. No more failure in the name of Jesus. Recognize the anointing in the house. Every ministry that is called by God is covered with what they call a canopy of grace. Yes. There are some things you can pray and pray. She was praying for the first five times. She prayed and prayed, nothing happened. But because she knew that there is an anointing somewhere, before now, we used to blame people for calling me and say, you can do it yourself. But God said, no, don't do that. Because there is the grace that covers the ministry. It's not the, your prayers, but it is the word that you speak for that back. Hallelujah. Someone here, one of our sisters here, they had to go to London. And they had to go to London for a, an immigration appointment, appointment. And I said to them the previous day, I said, you know what? Please, I want to go to London with you. Yes. <sighs> They say, Pastor, how can you go to London? Because there's a way a man of God enter a place that environment changes. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. Say, Pastor, why do you want to spend this time drive from here to London? I say, well, that's what I heard. Do I like what to do? No, sir. But because I heard it, I wanted to go to London with them. Because I know that in the presence of light, darkness disappears. Hallelujah. Glad for Jesus. No more failure in the name of Jesus. I also see finances coming into this hand. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you, God. You may be seated. Are you clapping for Jesus? Yeah. We shall call Sister Mary quickly, please. We don't have the time. We're running out of time. I have a message you preach. I have a communion today. This communion today, there are spare parts everywhere here. <laughs> there are spare parts everywhere here. There are spare parts everywhere here. Yeah, I was praying today this morning. God told me that my angel is releasing spare part on the altar. So if you can stretch your faith today, then your testimony is sure in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What has God done for you in one minute? Summarize as much as you can. Let me just summarize. I just want to give this testimony as um, encouragement Yes. all of us here. I know it's one thing to see God working in your life, and it's another to see God reaching right through into your family and doing things. Um, God has been so faithful to me, and I just want to thank Him and celebrate Him. And uh, my one prayer to God is that I should never get busy ever again, not to find time to That's spend right. with Him. Because I have seen my, um, for the short time that I've been spending with God, I've really seen things changing in my Amen. life, and I'm so grateful. Um, my sister, one of my sisters, she's she's going through a lot. She's in a place where I used to be before <laughs> when when they knew me, and because I've seen that God can actually take you out from your uh, difficult life, your stressful life, and bring you into a place of peace. Hallelujah. Where his peace will surpass every other peace. Like yes. I've been trying to make my sister. Sorry, let me just say something. They are just sitting like that. Amen. The peace I have now, right? If you swap it for ten billion trillion quadrillion pound. I don't know whether there's anything like that. I will not give you that peace for that money. So that is a huge, for me, that is a huge testimony. To be clapping for God for that. Hallelujah. So I, I was trying to make my sister understand that there are certain things that we only God can give us. But she will not even give me a listening ear. But to God be the glory. God has went ahead and has already opened her eyes and she has begun to see that really this God can do stuff. Hallelujah. And now he is asking us to pray more, to pray more for her. And for the first time, I could actually grab her on the phone and pray together Hallelujah. and just give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Are you clapping for Jesus? Jesus. The first time I met her, I said, you will be the one that God wants to use to touch all the family. I say, so you need to up your game. And now she is reaching out to every one of them. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. We give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe you'll continue this testimony at some other time. Hallelujah. Yeah. Clap for Jesus for what he's doing. Amen. Sister Anna, come and give your testimony in a minute. Tell us what God has done. Are you clapping for Jesus? Clap for Jesus as she talks. Clap for Jesus as she has the microphone anyway. Amen. 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 Thank God for his glory. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute.
financial release I declare and declare yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I put speed to your legs in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I put speed to your hands in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I put speed to everything you touch in the name of Jesus. Yeah. A prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Yeah. I want to thank God for adding another year to my daughter's life. Are you celebrating Jesus? Thank you, Father. She turned 21 last week. So that Hallelujah. was really seeming Sunday. I had to go to her. Hallelujah. Shout out, hallelujah. Thank God for what he has, he has done in her life. Yes, Lord. Uh, he took her from really, uh, I would say, grass to to this. Hallelujah. He has provided for she's a university. Hallelujah. This year. He has provided for all because there are some things that we got, even the people, because we are from Ireland, and she has some grants that she got that people with the same place didn't get. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In favor of God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God again for last week. I was passing through because since almost one year now, I'll be out of work because of challenge in my head. So that challenge ends by this encounter in the name of Jesus. So when I started going back, we started looking for job. It's not forthcoming. It was very so, easy. <laughs> it was very easy. So as you know, when money start getting low, is another concern. Even though you want to your faith to be up, but when you look at the money going low and nothing coming in, it become a concern. So last week I came back from a training and I found envelope from British Gas, and I said, "What again?" Because I was already in area on my on my bills. So when I opened the envelope, they said they are sending me a reminder, and then last a reminder for my payment. If not, they will take it to a debt collector or so. So I just put the letter, hand it over to God anyway. And I sat there looking at the letter. What should I do? There's nothing I can do. I won't go and steal and pay the bill. So I will just, and that day, it was Thursday, there was service. I was like, the devil said, you see? He doesn't you want it to come to church. You are always going, you see? So I was just, I don't even want to go to church. But like David said, I encouraged myself. Hallelujah. So I took courage and came to church. And behold, that day, an envelope was waiting for me. Hallelujah. An envelope with money inside was waiting for me in the church. So imagine if I didn't come. Some of you are jealous. I don't want to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost just said I should anoint you, but we'll do that after. God just remind me, I will finish. But as far as I know, every challenge in your life ends by this encounter in the name of Jesus. If I be a man of God, Hallelujah. You clap for Jesus. Are you clapping for Jesus? You think we are here to be done? Last Thursday, one more testimony. Sister Mary, come and give her testimony. Quickly, clap for Jesus as she comes. We shall be very quick. We are we almost run out of time. Sister Cam, you have a testimony. <laughs> Do you have a testimony? <laughs> testimony. Do you have a testimony next week? Oh, we will take all that next week. Hi. I just wanted to tell you what happened to me this morning. Um, well, actually, it started yesterday. I saw a skirt for about five pounds. I thought, oh, gosh, that's really quite nice. Maybe it will fit me. I'll have to just really ask God for those five pounds. This morning as I'm walking down the stairs in the flats, there's a five pound note just sitting up like this on the stair. Glory to God. So I said, thank you Lord for my skirt. And thinking to myself, well that's for me. That's fine. And um, I now I've taken a shortcut past another big old church. And as I'm going down, there's a lady coming up with a pram, with a little baby. And she says, I'm sorry to worry you, but she says, um, do you know of a food bank that I can get nappies for my child? So I said, no, I don't actually right now in the, in the Walsall area. Bottom line is, this is, I ended up giving her three pounds because I said, how much is the nappy? She says, three pounds. And I gave her the three pounds that I hadn't changed to give her for the nappies. 
And I think, thank you, Lord, for the five pounds, but I can give her some of it too. Hallelujah. Are you clapping for Jesus? Clap for Jesus. That's the best testimony we've had today. That's the best testimony. Because of time, we'll get it. Yeah, because of time, we'll get it some other time. No, no. I can't story it. I forgot. Eh? I forgot. Quickly, quickly. Let me know who the mic. Let me put it. She was so happy. She's looked in her bag and said, I thought, what she's scratching in her bag for? And I just said to Mark this morning, you know what, I really wish I had some earrings. And you know what, when she came out of her bag, look what she gave me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for that this morning. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Anybody who has another testimonies will take them, please. If you wrote your name here for testimony, we'll take them next week. Hallelujah. 